Welcome back to December 18th for the second time. Uh, another game crash. Great. Uh, my yard didn't come to work today again. Leave up is back. Jacob is drunk. Uh, I can brush. What happened? Uh, spring of couch came loose and poked me right in the back all night. I couldn't sleep properly. I was tossing and turning all night, but I couldn't fall asleep. Sure, curse all. Well, that's fine. All right. Let us auto sign. All right. So this we've already looked through. So flower pots is going to look up. No, no, flower pots are somewhere else. This was Stockman, Troublemaker, Spurlock was looking up Fraudster. Flower pots was looking up the man in the nick cap. And Randon was looking up the last frame for the farmer. Okay. All right, we're going to assign cops. Do we have everything we need? Um, okay, so we can put those three in there. We'll do that either close to the end of the day or at the end of the day. I don't, I don't know what it means by one day left. I guess meaning tomorrow, so. Alright, yep, that's right. Fries payment. So we came in here and we sold two things of whiskey and then some heroin. And then it all crashed. Okay, we survived that. Oh, got a share from the theater. Thank goodness. Okay, so that all went a little bit quicker than last time, which is great for you guys. In uh, and Locke's Muster's mother in law. I'm Locke Muster's mother in law. You're new around here and probably haven't found out yet that he's a real. Hum. She's been beating. She's been beating up my daughter for years and she's afraid to leave him. She's afraid he'll kill her. You're this scumball's boss, right? Maybe you can make sure he doesn't return home from assignment someday. Doesn't matter how you do it. The main thing is you won't lay another finger on my daughter. I have a feeling that you won't. Uh, you'll do the right thing. You have kind eyes. Oh, I almost forgot. Brought you a bottle here for your kindness. Please drink it to the health of my daughter. She recently got her cast off, but it turns out the bones of her arm didn't mend properly, and doctors will have to break it again. I'm gonna stay out of that. That's not my business. Certainly, someone should do something about that, but that's, you know, something. Alright, forgot to read that one, that's fine. A little bit rusty, caught off guard, all that other stuff. Um, just found out that mustard is possibly transgender, I don't know. Probably just a typo, but that's all it takes nowadays, just a typo. in progress. Alright, assault. A man went to pick up a roadside prostitute but became furious when he saw his daughter was there too. He pulled off his belt and is determined to teach his fallen daughter a lesson she won't soon forget. I heard those in France. You sound like you can handle that. Old bum is surrounded by barking dogs. The old man has been around swinging in circles. Shoot in the air. The dogs were frightened by the gunshot and fled. The homeless man was frightened but survived the encounter without injury. The dogs were released by a bored businessman who didn't resist arrest. And we found some cocaine. Five forty-four in progress. Hey, Jormungandr Lake. A drunk woman with a gun is making teenager push a piano across the frozen lake. Jacob will probably die. But... Man's carrying a belt is chasing a scantily clad girl around this uh, sedan, Yusbaton. 
Cops on Spawn Sunday man carrying the belt. The angry father falling to the ground. It was easy to pray for the police. Good job, Rosencrantz. Let's get you full speed. Rosencrantz is a real hero. Five thirty in progress. Smelly Goose Bar, an elderly man attacked a girl and bit her face after she refused to hang out with him. Reasonable. Not really. Agent Leev, you're like uh, the A team. Literally. A frightened teenager is sitting at the piano in the middle of the frozen lake. Drum is sitting next to him, knocking on the instrument with a pistol. He said that Schubert's sonatas can melt ice, even ice that's in my heart. Let's see how Schubert copes with ordinary ice. Or did the offender to leave him alone? Oh, the pistol listened to the cop and surrendered. Now the frightened teen will have to push the piano back home. Nice work, Valentine. Uh, let's get you some intelligence. We need some more, uh, some, some more detectives. Five thirteen in progress. Okay, a man claims a drunk driver is trying to park near a car wash. I'm 45 years behind the wheel, so I immediately notice when someone's driving drunk. Okay. Perfect. Uh, elderly man is on top of a girl. Blood is dripping from her chin. Or from his chin. The girl screams in pain. Her nose is bitten off. The criminal is laughing. Now you won't be turning your nose up at anyone. Another... Patrons of the bar dare not interfere. Others whispers to see if rabies. All right, tackle the offender. Cop managed to rush the victim and the girl lived, but she'll need plastic surgery. I can imagine. That uh, was gruesome. Very gruesome. Uh, it was just a novice driver who couldn't figure out how to park in the narrow place. He parked crooked, then gave up, and just stood there right on the sidewalk. Yeah, sounds like me. 515 in progress. Carjacking. Drunken man stole an excavator to clear a path and snowed his friend's house. Alright. Hodges, you take lead. Alright. Did we get we got okay. Spanish brook games, yep. Yep. Icon. The man in the cap. All of them. Uh, is that something for these? That. Member of the Woodsman Gang kidnap Melba. He and his little gang member sacrifice the girl. Could sacrifice her. Okay. So we need to arrest these people. In the evenings, likes to train with iron, which makes easy lying around. Okay. All right. Be good at that. Of course, you don't mind. All right. Thank you, flower pots. Runs in the park in the evening. Works here. Mystery of the Spurlock found no clues. Wow, Spurlock, you are terrible. Okay, no point in doing that. Oh, was she set to look for clues? Five seventeen in progress. All right, watchman at a cemetery reports that someone has dug up a grave and is crouching over the coffin. All right, age, you take Valentine. All right. It's going to be a very short episode today because I don't want to get in tomorrow because tomorrow, actually, well, we might do some interrogating, which will take a little bit of time. So hopefully it's not going to be too, too short. All right, Guzman, same thing. You need to gain some intelligence. All right, interrogate. Nick Derrick, why do you go swimming in ice hole at night? You think it's better when the balls got frostbite? You know how to handle syringe. You ever been into drugs? Tell me honestly, did you kidnap this river so you can mix business with pleasure? 
Yeah. It was a dark time in my life, but that's all behind me. Thanks to the Brotherhood, the power of their convention helped me see more than I'm more than just a body. Not all your brothers were strong with your friend Horus, for example. Your brothers meant weren't strong enough to help you become a shop manager of the factory. Some people just weren't meant to be leaders, so spiritual beliefs to you, you can sing them all. Um Working in the factory is a temporary thing, I don't think but a uh -huh. Okay. So we gotta interrogate him. Or torture, I'm sorry. Whoops. Alright, medical dossier, of course. Received strong electric shock at the factory. He spent two weeks in the hospital after he refused to use electrical appliances for a while. He suffered a nervous breakdown at Sunday school with the music graduation ceremony. He punched piano keys with such force he broke several fingers. He had never had food in his life. So let's go over here. I think this is the place with electric. Medical, true serum, never mind. Alright. Uh, pig slaughterhouse? Yep. Alright. Figured that one out. I don't understand why they're all bloody. I didn't beat the crap out of them. Tina Grossman and Melba were little, uh, were killed in a mysterious ritual. You get out there, Spurlock. Next freighter is weaving along the road, plowing snow left and right. The cab door is open, and drunk man is driving and singing loudly. Ready to excavate a turn of sign and ram the excavator to the floor. Uh, hurry to the excavator. Cut man to leave to the extra cab and the rest of them will get to work. Uh, so we have smart. Okay, good. We have a leave at least. Near the excavated grave, a woman is trying on a wedding dress which she pulled off the body in a coffin. A shovel is stuck in the mound of dirt next to the large flashlight. Oh, just sneak up behind her. Five seventeen. Complete. Cop probably the woman arrest her. Turns out that he was advised to dig up a grave by a local witch who told her that wearing a dead woman's dress removes the lover's curse. Alright. Under cot. Moist. Flower pots. Get some speed. Jacobs. Go ahead and stealth. Spirit. Just tell me how you how to find the leader again and you can get back to your cows. I hear you like to lift bar iron from the abandoned railway station. What do you have money to norm? normal dumbbells? What a magnificent match does she have? I don't give up. I don't give up my own. If you police were any kind of real men, you'd understand what I mean. But the last good man among you was Sheriff Wells. Me and him might have had good heart to heart talk, but that's not going to happen with you. Okay. I don't, like, is there a trick to that? Singing church choir for boys was once admitted to the hospital showing signs of sexual violence, but refused to talk about what happened. Served in the army, he was wounded during special operations and was operated on directly without anesthesia. Immediately after his recovery, he requested reassignment to the reserve and refused medal of courage. After he was discharged from the army, he drank heavily. His neighbors often found him asleep in the snow. It's amazing that he never suffered from frostbite. Alright, so he's afraid of the church. Try this. Yeah. I hate this one because it hurts my ears. Cool. Ow. All right. I'll tell you everything. Good. Alright, Aliyev, you go to that one. Okay. And there will be a... Uh, there will be a longer episode tomorrow, that's for sure. Um, well, yeah, tomorrow. I'll probably film it tomorrow in real life, but a little investigation. When this prepared to film work for the bloody dominoes. And on a motorcycle.
we'll look into that tomorrow. Actually, what am I thinking? I'll look into this one now. Because, yeah, it's just a short episode. We might as well. Surge, Greenbeard McCullion. Hunter, you know I'm a man of traditional education and standard sexual preferences. Any previous there are come from Bovos. Oh, any perversions. The forest spirit of left in the lottery. Not a big fan of his. I have strong will and solid beliefs. So when I was walking along the creek, I saw two women in chains who were sitting on their knees drinking water. I knew better than to keep out of the way. Um, I knew I'd better keep out of the way. There was some woman with them. She was wearing a mask or something, and she had something balled up in her hands. I don't have time to make it out. I got myself out of there in a heartbeat. Bovos isn't going to get me wrapped up in this stuff. Sandy Moraines, unemployed. I just can't find a decent job. I can't find a job at all. I can't even find a clean, find a job cleaning toilets. I'll tell you what, there's an opening in the police station cleaning toilets, probably. I can hire you. They don't have any vacancies, but they just hired some bearded ha instead of me. Uh, they say they have a ban on hiring former prisoners, but it's just a business decision. What these ha don't know is that if anyone in this world knows how to scrub a toilet, then it's a convict. One way or another, we've got to make money. They introduced me to a guy named Nick. Well, not really introduced me. I only talked to him on the phone. He gave me all sorts of small errands. Something special? Go there, take this. But recently, he asked me to do something strange. I had to take two women from a hotel room, shackled, and uh, take them to the Forest Rear Creek. That's when my grandmother called that place. Most folks don't know where it is, but I know. It's where the boys always used to play cowboys and Indians. I did everything just like they told me. It wasn't hard. These ladies don't even make a sound, even though their mouths were taped. Uh, probably they were pre-processed. They, once I got to the stream, some lady in a coat took the captives. Her face was covered by a scarf and her hair was tucked under her hat. She didn't say a word to me, just waved me over to get out. I don't remember what the color of her coat. Um, something white, maybe white, or yellow or something in between. Well, you know, when the milk spoils, you can put sunflower oil in it, and it's not so bad to drink. Crimson. The bodies of women lay on the banks of the creeks in similar poses. Apparently they were tied up somehow, restricted in their movements and untied after deaths. The search of the terrain didn't yield anything substantial. The killer skillfully covered all their tracks and took any evidence with them. That was it. Both women suffered from catastrophic swelling in the face, lungs, lungs, and brains. We didn't find any of the hematomas, fractures, or physical injuries, but some markings are visible on the neck, legs, arms, and level of sodium blood is much lower than expected. Um, apparently, they died from hyperhydration. Okay. Nick Derrick, member of Woodsman's Game. We were just low level members of the cult. They didn't tell us nothing about the sacred ritual. I only know that before the sacrifice, they lose some powder in the air. It's probably to summon the spirits, like ringing a bell or something, or else spirits won't even see the killing. That'd be stupid, huh? Although it seems to me that it's not powdered, but it's someone's ashes, maybe even the ashes of a cult's founder. That'd be cool if it's true, but it's just a guess. And as far as the ritual itself, nothing is a little muddled there. I think I heard some victims are forced to drink water real quick, like we tell them that the one who drinks the most water will be left alive, and then they both die. I don't, but I don't know, it doesn't make much sense. Is it impossible to die from water? Yeah, we're supposed to call them victims, vessels. Um, but isn't that... Well, what's it called? Metamorphosis? It's a metaphor, right? Woman in yellow coat, woman in a white coat. The woman in the white coat. Probably. <laughs> Alright. Everyone's exhausted. In the day. Alright. Sign the cops. Boom. 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 Alright, we got a like, super A team. Settled tomorrow. Got it all planned. Let's see if there's any cutscenes. All right, this. Yep, thirty crum six criminals rested. Sixty-five, not bad, not bad. Uh, French Williams. There, no, none of these are actually really. Ooh, uh, French is actually. I'm gonna get French, because he has three intelligence. He can help bring out some of those uh, uh, investigations. And we'll just get all these, because you always need equipment, especially getting more cops and stuff. All right. So, yep, those guys are all coming in. My goodness. Medina, Liva, Woolbag. Yep, 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 yep. 
Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Yep. Uh huh. Sure. Okay, so 22 cops. Let's see if I can convince Rosencrantz. Mustard? Sure, okay. Let's give back Valentine. Okay. All right. Cutscene. I'll be very, very quick. Miss, Miss Weinstein, you... I can't be long. I just brought you a letter from your dad and some food. If Miss you... Weinstein, you better... Better go, you know? I'm already leaving, dear. Take this. I don't... I... Is this her, Dylan? This is her? I'm Miss Weinstein, young man. And you're probably Edgar. I'm glad to meet you. I'm a friend of your father. He asked me to give you something very important. Tell him we don't need anything from him. You understand? I don't care... We don't care what he wants to say. He missed his chance to fix anything a long time ago. We lived without our whore mother. We'll figure out how to get by without our kingpin father. Tell him that. You hear me? Your father is very worried, and he only wants oh, to... Oh, of course he's worried, of course! With all the money he stole, with a boxcar full of gold, with all his fucking pictures, I'm sure all he's doing is sitting and worrying, sipping a Chardonnay or some other shit. No doubt he's worried sick! Maybe he's even praying for us. Thanks very much. I'm sure, Edgar, if you just read this... Wasn't that clear enough? If I see you here again, I'll call the police. Sorry, Miss Weinstein. I, I, I'm sorry. You go out every night like this, Miss Weinstein? What about your sick mother? I didn't... I wasn't gone half an hour. I, well, isn't our next meeting scheduled for the day after tomorrow? I ran out of patience. So you can't wait to ask me the same questions again? Oh, the questions are new. You can't get any newer than these. I'd offer you some coffee, but I'm sure that- Do you know who Anastas Kulp is? I don't understand how it's... How do you... I know you didn't want his legs to be broken. You didn't want to make a cripple out of him. You just wanted your mother's jewels back and made a little mistake. How did you know that your private detective worked under a fake license and served two terms, right? I'm not sure that... I know you wanted the best. I know that Jack Boyd covered for you, and I also know that your mother has absolutely nothing to do with any of it. But... I can easily prove that she came up with the whole thing herself, and even threw the detective a couple hundred extra to make sure Anastas Kolp wouldn't get up from his wheelchair for the rest of his life. After all, they were her jewels. My, my mother... I don't know how sick your mother really is, but I think she'll be able to handle a few years behind bars. What do you need? Write down how to find Jack Boyd. And if I go to the address that you give me, and I really do find him there, I promise that we'll never see each other again. It's not the only time Jack Boyd has covered your ass, is it? Of course it's not the only time. Of course, the kind-hearted Mr. Boyd rescued everyone. He helped everyone. What would we do without him, right? Why do you want to catch him so badly? You know for a fact that he, he, he's not... 
not who everybody thinks he is. Well, sorry for that terrible audio uh, glitch. Hopefully I can fix that in editing. If it sounds perfectly normal, then I fixed it. But if it doesn't, I am very sorry about that. I don't understand why that glitch happened. Uh, basically, it was like the cutscene was like two seconds ahead of the audio. So hopefully I can just fix that in editing. But anyways, uh, I recorded that. So uh, I guess I could load back and try to re-record it, but it doesn't matter. Because I lose the product uh, progress. Anyways, uh, short episode today, long episode tomorrow probably with the assault and everything. Um, hope you enjoyed. Hopefully, I can keep this up. I'm going back to college soon, so um, I might have to hold off for a few days, get settled into college, settled into a recording routine. But hopefully, we can get through this. Yeah. So as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>